Allie Wagner's live at the Corvette Diner, where I believe they have that exact problem, do they not, Allie? Mm hmm. Yeah, they do, to where they're only open a few days a week, five days a week right now, right, Sophia? Yes, only five days a week and limited hours here at the Corvette Diner. We don't have enough staff to open more days. If you have anybody, send them down, please. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, that's what you guys are experiencing right now, yeah. which is what a lot of restaurants in San Diego have told me. And as the operations manager for Cohen Restaurant Group, I mean, that's what you're seeing right now. It's a really difficult time right now. We would have never thought we would have had this hard of a time bringing on team members from line cooks, bussers, servers, soda jerks. Any position in the restaurant is difficult to find. People have left the industry. They've went elsewhere. They're doing construction, doing whatever they can do to survive the pandemic and not really coming back to the restaurant work. Yeah, and so what are you guys doing? I mean, how are you able to attract people? I would imagine that you're pretty much going, what can I do to get people to come in and work? Right now, we're doing anything we can, different things. We're reaching out here at Corvette Diner. We've reached out to theater groups. We've brought a lot of kids in. We're offering training camp. We're bringing in kids that are younger than we've offered before. We're offering people positions to train them. We have training camp here at Corvette Diner. We try to make it really fun. We pay well. We give incentives to come in. It's a fun place to work. We work around your school schedule, your other work schedules, just trying to give them the opportunity to come in, learn something, have a fun time at, at work, and hopefully we can attract more employees. Yeah, because I know that like in years past, it used to be you probably would get a dozen applications for one job. It's not that way right now. We'd put a hostess application on Craigslist. We would have to shut it down within 24 hours. We'd have over 150 applicants. Right now, we're lucky if we get 10, and if they apply for the job and we set up interviews, they may not even show up. Yeah, just really tough, and obviously, I mean, you're seeing that and what you can offer. People want to come back into the restaurant, but you can only offer so much without the staff. We can only offer so much. We do our best, and we're trying. We just need the team members to come back. It's hard being on limited hours. We definitely have the demand, but we can't open up all of our different spaces. Here at Corvette Diner, we have different rooms. We cannot open them up because they don't have the team members to do it. The team members that are here are happy to be here. They want to be here, but we're stretching them thin. We're still even short staff on the five days a week at eight hours a day. We're not at normal hours. It's really difficult. There's Our menus aren't complete. We don't have full access to everything. We're missing. We don't, can't do all the fun dances that we you know, yeah. did, but we just don't have the staff. Yeah, just really a, a hard situation and one, like I say, I'm seeing at a lot of restaurants that I go and visit to. So once again, if people want to come and work, yeah. how can they apply? They just come on. They can go to Dine CRG at any of our locations, apply. All of our job postings are open there. They can come in with our application and fill it out. We interview on the spot. <laughs> Whatever they need to do to come in, and we're happy to have it. Give us a call. Come on down. Ideally, just come on in. Um, we want to have people apply for jobs. We need them. It's been the hardest thing is getting people in. Who would have thought we couldn't open our restaurants up? Corvette Diner took a month to open because we didn't have enough team members to open, and we we opened with limited staff and technically short staff to get it open. Wow. I, yeah, it's just something that you keep hearing about, but the need is there. So looking for the job force to return so that then they can open up, of course, and offer more seating and be able to offer more days, more times, all of the above. We'll send things back over to you. All right, Allie. Wow. Yeah, I just hear it over and over again from these restaurants. It's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm.